Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is a quick unboxing and it's Coach. It's been years since I purchased a Coach bag and that's mainly because ever since I started collecting Chanel and Louis Vuitton, I pretty much purged all of my contemporary designer handbags, which I suggest you guys don't do if you're starting out, but I don't regret it because I donated them to friends and family. But I did live in the mindset of, you know what, just save your money. If you're going to spend $300 or $400 on a bag, it might as well go towards a designer handbag. And that's what I did for the longest time. I thought, you know what, I wanted only to strictly carry designer, and that's what I did. It worked out for me because now I have a small curated collection of designer handbags that I adore. I don't have any redundancy in my collection. I have a handbag for every occasion, and I am very content. But I do feel like I missed out on a lot of cute items along the way. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to cave in, especially when the prices are so good. And with Coach, the quality is always amazing. When I saw this bag go on sale, I couldn't. I just had to get it. So let's stop talking and start unboxing. Look at this little cutie pie. You can already see it peeking through. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Look at that packaging. It's actually wrapped really well. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, oh my god how cute is that oh. oh wow this is really good quality this is coated canvas so it's like you know it's like monogram canvas like Louis Vuitton canvas and it's it's super duper cute look at that oh, that's the hardware right there it says coach on both sides it's got a little piece of leather oh my god oh my god this is so adorable there you go and it is stuffed let's take a look and see what it's like on the inside. Okay, so we've got a button there that says coach. Okay, I think that's like a, a care booklet. And oh, that's actually a snap button. Oh, that's so cute. So this little cosmetic pouch Actually, it has a snap button in there with a pocket. So it's not leather lined. It is fabric, but the material is very good and it's leather lined there on the top. It's got a snap button pocket in there and it looks like it fits a lot. This is really, really cute. This is a lot nicer than I expected. It's got two leather tabs on both sides and it's just the most adorable thing ever. So the retail price on this one was $78. And I think I picked this up for like, I can't even remember, 20 something dollars off the website, which is amazing, amazing. I wanna go back and pick up a few more of these and just keep them around to use as, you know, gifts um, whenever something comes up, you know, these are so cute, such good quality, and you can't go wrong. You can't have enough of these in your handbag. This is pretty big. This is bigger than I expected. Wow. So this one is nicely wrapped as well. Let's just get into it. So beautiful I wasn't expecting it to be this nice look at that pebbled leather I'm actually not a fan of this big logo but because it's black on black it doesn't bother me that much so 
We got two zips at the top. I must say everything is nicely wrapped. Oh, and this is a back pocket. Okay, cool. I did not see this in the store. I just saw it on the website, so I have no idea what the details of this bag are. Hold on, let me get it completely unwrapped and then we'll come back. Okay, 10 minutes and five miles of packaging later, we finally have a bag. It's a camera style bag from Coach. It is all leather, pebbled leather, may I add, which is really, really beautiful and thick. And it feels really, really durable. The hardware is nice and shiny. You got double zippers across the top. You got two D, two D rings on each side of the bag. A leather tab right there. This little tag right here that says coach. This is the back pocket like we mentioned before. And this is the front of the bag, which is pretty plain, except for this little embossing right here. As for the strap, which is my favorite part of the bag and is what mostly drew me to the bag when I saw it online, you've got a thick guitar strap, which is what I love. I am so into these fabric guitar straps nowadays. They're so comfortable and they truly make a bag. Truly, truly make a bag. Look at how they ended this off with the hardware and the bits of leather right here that are adjustable. So this strap is comfortable, adjustable, and detachable. And it's it's on trend. It's sparkly and shiny too. I, I really think you can't ask for much more in a handbag, in a strap. <laughs> so, okay, let me hook it on. And let me tell you guys why I picked this bag in particular. So I have always been a fan of camera bags. But I never owned a camera bag because every time I tried to buy one, let's say like the Gucci um, Soho Disco bag, that camera style bag, every time I would look at one, it, it always seemed to be squished here on the top and had like a little hump. And I hope you guys, you know, know what I'm talking about. All camera bags suffered from that same issue. All the camera bags that I looked at whether it was Chanel, whether it was Gucci, whatever it may be, they all had that same issue. They all developed like a little hump here from being squished on the top. And I was just not a fan of that. The YSL camera bag had the same issue. No matter how expensive, how you know nice the leather was, they all ended up looking that way. And I just hated it. I, it was really a pet peeve of mine. I do not like it when bags start to you know bubble up here on the top just from being handled and squished. But this one seemed to me like it would be different because it has double zippers. And from my experience, double zippers usually hold the shape of the bag a lot better at the top. The size is perfect. It's a very decent size. Very, very decent. It's not a small bag by any means, which I love because you guys know I'm not a mini bag girl. I prefer medium to large. Oh no. Not more paper. Yes, more paper. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry guys. More paper. Okay, we're done. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. Okay, finally. No more packaging. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay, there's another care booklet. That's the pocket. So it is fabric lined, not leather lined which for the price of this bag, I cannot complain about. Let's take a look at this tab here on the inside. Okay, it says coach and then there's a bunch of writing that I cannot read. And like I told you guys, it's two compartments. Each of them is fabric lined and the, the bag is absolutely gorgeous. What can I say? I love it. I love it. I did not expect to be this pleased with the bag 
and the strap is just so nice it's thick but it's comfortable at the same time and it's sparkly of course they had black and they had pink on the website as well and being me i wanted to go for the pink first but i have learned a lesson about pinks and that is not all pinks are created equally there's a lot of pinks that you are drawn to in the beginning and then they end up not working out in your wardrobe so i have sold a few bags because of that reason and now i only own one pink bag and i'm trying not to add any more pink bags to my collection you know as much as i love them and i know black can sometimes be boring but you know what you can't go wrong with black you can't go wrong with black that's just the truth that's just how it is guys Let me see if this fits in here. This is pretty big. This is so cute. It's small, but it's chunky. And it is so freaking adorable. Let me see if that fits in there. Oh, it fits perfectly. It's not bulging or anything. This bag is very spacious. Very spacious. I love it. And it's com compartmentalized. I've got two zippers across the top to hold the shape. What more can you ask for? Now let's get to the price. So this bag originally retailed for $328. Guess how much I paid for this bag? I paid, drum roll please, $109 for this bag. Isn't that a steal? I think it's a steal. I love it. I am in love, you guys. This is what I was talking about when I said that I felt like I was missing out on so much, you know, just by restricting myself to, you know, one or two brands. But, you know, moving forward, I'm going to be a little bit more open minded about it. And hopefully, hopefully I can add some more cute pieces like this that are extremely affordable to my collection, you know, just to, to allow me to have you know, more fun and experiment with different styles. I've got a few items there in the background that I'm going to unbox in my next video. I have a couple of more orders that I'm waiting to come in, but you guys know shipping is is a nightmare nowadays, so I have no idea when they're going to arrive. But stay tuned if you want to see what my next purchase is going to be. <laughs> then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you don't miss my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.